What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. This is exactly what I wanted. This book is everything to me. We got the body horror, we got the gothic house, the castle that we're living in. We have the cursed man who is in desperate need of our main character's help. Like the tropes are there and honestly living for it. Our main character Andromeda is an exorcist and she is not licensed so she needs to get somebody's patronage in order for her to become like a proper exorcist. So she takes the job that literally nobody wants. It's in this creepy house up on the hill. Everybody who goes there mysteriously disappears and everybody seems not concerned at all that she's not licensed because they just really, really need somebody to exercise the evil eye out of this house. The owner of this house, Magnus, is very eccentric and he has some weird rules, including do not ever look him in the eye. Do not ever leave your room after 10 o'clock. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. I love that. I wonder what's going to happen if you look him in the eye and you leave your room after 10 o'clock. This was so scary. It was so spine chilling. At the heart of it is this beautiful gothic romance between Andromeda and Magnus, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think their characters played off of each other really, really well. I liked all of the side characters as well. I loved learning about the different ghosts and things haunting this house, and ultimately, by the time I got to the end of it, I was just so shocked by, like, the magnitude of this curse, and to be perfectly honest, like, I'm glad that it's, you know, a standalone. I'm glad, you know, it's it's just the one book. It's not like it's trying to be a series or anything, but my God, would I love more stories within this house. At the end of the day, ghost stories and like haunted house stories are really meant to be very like introspective. And you really look in on this character. You look in on the people who are haunting these walls. You look in and see why these things are happening. And I really enjoyed that. I think the way Lauren Blackwood writes was just really, really beautiful. I felt really like in tune with Andy and like the things that she wanted and her like culmination of her arc like once we get to like the big climax of the story was breathtaking I really really loved it and overall like this book was just so much fun to listen to I will say I think it did drag just a little bit like sometimes I wanted it to go like more horror but then it would lean more romance and I honestly think that's just like a preference choice because both of them are very very good like if we'd gotten more horror scenes like I would have been very happy but like I still liked the romance so I can't really fault it for that I'd say just be aware that like it is scary it is haunting but at the end of the day like this is a love story whether that love story is going to end up happy or tragic just remains to be seen so I think it's pretty obvious I am giving this book an A plus I absolutely adored it I can see why it is so highly rated I already said my favorite books of 2021 which were House of Hollow and Iron Widow honestly I think you can put this one up there with House of Hollow. Like it, it has those House of Hollow vibes, but it just has that romance element that House of Hollow was missing. So I really, really recommend checking out Within These Wicked Walls. Definitely an A plus for me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't get to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.